Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel and welcome to your next seven days weekly November 2023 tarot reading. All right, this is the general and love energies for you, the current person on your mind, any new love potential coming your way, and then the potential between each zodiac, Aries through Pisces for you. So make sure to hit that like and subscribe. It does help my channel grow. And if you'd like a personal reading or hang out with me and get to know me a little bit more on my membership, I do weekly general updates and potential readings for you guys as well. Um, you can find all that information down below. So we do have the new moon in Scorpio. And before I started this reading, I was singing, give me something good for my Virgos. And you've got a new start in, is coming and it says new moon. All right. So I couldn't ask for a better card than that. The new moon in Scorpio is basically, this is a really strong energy right now for cleaning the slate and starting fresh. You know, us Virgos, we like that. We want to just come to a nice clean place nice and sparkly clean fresh smelling good we want to decorate it just the way we want it it's kind of that energy for you right now all right we are in scorpio season and so you know yours Try not to think about stuff too much. Just learn to surrender and let go with this um, with this energy and really having faith and trust in the process. You know, you're so perfect at doing things and so good at details and perfecting everything you do that it's like, why is it a struggle to perfect this surrendering process, this letting go process, right? It's like all the T's are dotted, you know, I mean, dotted, all the T's are crossed and the I's are dotted, P's and Q's and all this good stuff and yet when it's time to surrender it's like you know gotta surrender gotta surrender and see where things go step out of your comfort zone here so i am going to turn the camera over bye I'm still here, but here we go. So step out of your comfort zone. We have the North Node. North Node is in Aries. I'm not going to get all astrology, astrological on you guys. Um, it's not my place, but um, look at where your North Node is. Uh, you know, we do have North Node Aries right now. So a lot of us are, you know, collectively where we've got that energy. But your North Node in your chart will show you maybe where, you know, your South Node is where you're comfortable, where you've grown up, where you, what you've learned, all your comfort zone. You know, you do what you do you stay in your routine right you you have to have things set in a way your north node is what you're striving to what your soul is striving to do what you need to do to do different to make changes in your life and to to grow evolve um so check your north node placement um this new moon and also, I will talk about the 1111 portal is an energy three days before, three days after, some say two, some say two days before, two days after, is a manifesting accelerator. So focus on something. Um, this is what I've been doing is focusing on, you know, not, not all the millions of things that we want to manifest into our life right now. Focus on the one thing thing that is truly the most important thing to you right now and this will this 1111 portal is going to manifest it a lot quicker for you it's going to accelerate the process and also this uh, new moon in scorpio does bring in sudden change okay so you have sudden change going on around you right now and maybe some of you um you're caught up in the midst of it and you're like what's going on why does everything feel like why do i feel like alice in wonderland falling i don't know if i'm going up or down right but what's happening now for you is when you look back in a couple months a couple weeks uh you know, whatever you're going to be like oh i see what was going on universe was taking me basically from one part of my life or one timeline and putting me on the timeline that I wish to be on or to put me on the timeline that I'm supposed to be on. All right. So I did pull out my water, my salt and sea cards because of the water energy of Scorpio. My birthday is next week. Um, and I've got open up. It's okay to feel vulnerable. And that's also a very important energy around this um, Scorpio energy as well, too. It's like um, allowing yourself to be vulnerable and be softer and be open up and open and expressing your feelings as well. And set sail on a new adventure. Explore beyond the horizon. So some of you have an adventure um, around you right now. Go with the flow is another strong energy. Uh, trust where the universe is taking you right now. All right. The driftwood. 
Trust where the universe is taking you right now. You surrender and trust. All right. You're you're being taken care of. You're going to be good. You're going to be way more than good. You're going to be okay. You're going to be so okay. All right. Get ready to set sail on this new adventure. You have these opportunities around you. They are there. They're, the signs are being shown to you. Um, you've got this new start. You are on this journey, and now it's like maybe it feels a little uncomfortable because you just don't have all the answers just yet. Um, give yourself a break. The universe has got you. You know. Let's see what other energies are around you. What other energies are around my Virgos? Ooh, winter time is going to be a very good time for you. All right, I just want you to know that. And you've got the number four. So the number four is about your foundation, your family, your roots, building a solid foundation. Um, you know, so winter time, and we're, you know, winter time starts Sag season, uh, Aquarius. And Pisces, Capricorn, sorry. And so you will um, be seeing a lot of things change by then. A lot of things will be changing by then. Maybe even fully, um, that's when I said you're going to take a look back at this time. You might even come back to this video because you love me. And uh, you may see that you are, you're seeing why this all happened today. All right, a person of earth coming into your life. Um, this is also you. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Um, you're very secure. Be very secure in yourself right now. All right. Very grounded in yourself right now. Uh, you are a caregiver. You are a provider. You are, you know, so good, good to other people. You're very dependable. And I love the word classy for my Virgos because that is a perfect word for Virgos. Just for any Virgo I ever see, I'm only a Virgo rising, right? But I've, I, I've had a lot of relationships with Virgos and Virgos in my life. And there's just something so meticulously meticulous and classy about you guys. Um, so just tap into that energy of yours. And right now, this is the way people see you too, um, when they look at you and, and how, the, how you represent yourself. So this is um, a great energy. There could be a person of these qualities coming towards you as well. So you may be finding yourself... Um, connect him with somebody who is very grounded, who is very um, materialistic and nurturing and loving and caregiving. All right. Checkered flag, a conclusion, an outcome. All right. You, the finale. All right. This is it, guys. You're in it. All right. And you're finishing first. These are the words that are coming through from this card. Feeling relieved. All right. Trust the process. You are seeing the results, a completion, a conclusion. You know, reaching the flag, Leo energy here. Reaching the finish line. So about to have a clean slate and start fresh. New adventure coming your way. Let's see love for you. And then I will go right into the current person and new potential person. Um, but this is the energy that's around both titles. Woo. Somebody is highly attracted to you. This card wants to fly out all day today, all day today. Um, feminine energy. Somebody is highly attracted to you right now. You have this energy around you. Also, the feminine energy is reminding you to be open to receive. You don't have to do anything right now. All right. When we say like this feminine energy, it doesn't mean like you just sit still and you don't do anything, but just don't work. You don't have to work as hard. You don't have to work as hard as you think you do, all right? It's about just receiving the abundance and opening up to the love that's around you. You have so much around you and people are attracted to you. So the feminine card reminds you to just be and be in this energy that what I was saying, you're presenting yourself and in your highest version of yourself, you always do. You always do even a bad day. You never have your hair messed up, right? Um, you know, you can look all, you can come out of the gym and somebody's like, oh, you look good. Where are you going? I just came from the gym, right? But you have this feminine energy. So be very open to receive some sort of abundance right now when it comes to love. You have so much around you. 
what else for for Virgos? Anticipation here, All right? So somebody may be trying to make contact with you. Um, the anticipation card is somebody is like, um, maybe you're anticipating, maybe you're waiting, right? And you're wondering, just be, just allow it to come to you. All right, there is somebody that wants to make contact with you right now. Um, and that's like a two of wandsy energy. It's like at a crossroads, like I'm either overthinking or I don't know what to do, um, planning, want to make plans with you. But that's also getting out of one's comfort zone. So be prepared to get out of your comfort zone right now um, when it comes to love. And I got the real deal coming in for you. All right. So some of you manifest in, so expect sudden change, right? The universe plucking you out of wherever you're at. And if you're at in a situation that you know you don't belong in, guess what? You might not want to hear this, but it's been hard for you because you don't belong there. And the universe is plucking you out and putting you where you belong. And you belong with the real deal. All right, you belong with this diamond. You belong in a relationship, a committed, loyal, loving relationship. All right. So you do see, and I do see farewell. So it could be some of you are being picked up out of a relationship and put in another one, or some of you might be traveling, you might be meeting somebody. This could be about you picking up and starting fresh with this current person that's on your mind. So let's see this person. And uh, anything else spirit has for you, and I'll get the feelings for you. Oh, there's a card stuck in here from the other deck. Possessive. Somebody wants you to be theirs. Somebody is very possessive of you, Virgo. They've got their eye on you, and they're going to make it happen. High Priestess. All right, that's your energy and Pisces energy. So it could be a Pisces. It could be another Virgo. But there's definitely a secret admirer. There's somebody trying to get to know you. There's somebody lurking. It could be a secret admirer, all right? But there's somebody who's not telling you everything. They're trying to get to know you. But this person definitely is very attracted to you. The high priestess, they find you very, very sensual. The, divine, the high priestess is the actual divine feminine, not just the empress card, all right? So they're highly attracted to you. That You're calling them in. All right, I have the six of wands. They want your attention. This could be a very successful person. This could be somebody, uh, six of wands is a person who's admired by a lot of people, very popular person, very competitive person, very fiery person, Aries, Leo, Sag. All right, they could be on social media. They could have their own thing, uh, their own business, but they definitely get a lot of attention and a lot, and they're very admired, and this person definitely admires you. All right, I got the Prince of Swords. So this person is collecting information on you. They're trying to, they watch you constantly. They're they're definitely keeping an eye. They're trying to figure out, they're trying to figure you out with that High Priestess card. Maybe they find you very mysterious. Um, maybe they want to know what you're really up to. Maybe they're just trying to see what you're doing all day long or what you do. And um, they're becoming very obsessive over you and very possessive over you. Two of Swords, though, the anticipation and the Two of Swords, it's like they're confused about what to do with their feelings. And we got the Fool card. It's what's been holding them back. What's that Two of Swords? The Seven of Wands, all right? Afraid to make a move, afraid to move forward, afraid to say something wrong. Uh, there may have been something that was said. Maybe there's you guys have gotten an argument for some of you because, remember, the current person can be anybody. Um, the Seven of Wands is somebody speaking up, speaking their truth and speaking their mind. For some reason, uh, the Three of Pentacles, there could have been a third-party situation for some of you, but the Three of Pentacles shows me that there was a lot going on in both your lives or there's a lot, there's so many working parts but that you guys will, come together the three of pentacles is the universe making all the pieces come together for you all right the fool card shows you guys having a fresh start and moving forward but the two of swords and the seven of wands it's like this person is holding back what they you know they want to make sure they say the right thing to you i have the eight of pentacles so i see it could be you know this person just works a lot or has a lot on their plate or they want to work things out it could be anything like that but the two of swords and the seven of wands shows somebody is uncertain certain about, you know, the outcome or out, uncertain about 
um, you know, jumping in, taking a leap of faith here with you. All right. The five of swords in reverse says they're not playing games with you, whoever this person is, but something was said or, or maybe you're guarded. Maybe they feel like you're very guarded with the seven of wands. And so they're confused about your feelings. This is not going to stop this person from coming towards you to communicate with you because you have the six of wands and the prince of swords, which is somebody who's pretty confident and not afraid to communicate with you. But maybe they're waiting for the right time, right place, which is now. All right. Finally coming in now. Let's see. I got the Ace of Wands underneath the High Priestess. So we do see a lot of potential here. Communication. Let's see their feelings for you. Their feelings for you. Their feelings for my Virgos. I feel terrible for hurting you for some of you. All right, and that's that seven of wands and two of swords. So maybe somebody trying to figure out what to say to you, trying to get the right words to say to you, Virgo. All right, I can see I can see myself with you in the future. I was pretending to be somebody else. That six of wands can be that too. Somebody who's very popular. Um, they have to put up a facade in a way. So um, they were pretending to be somebody else. Please be patient with me. Now, remember, these cards here may not resonate with everybody because some of you may not have a story with the current person on your mind. All right. But I do see soulmate potential here with this person. So whatever the conflict is, it does seem like the three of pentacles and the eight of pentacles. You guys working things out this week. And uh, let's see where things go. All right. Let's see new person, new potential, new person, new. I drank a peppermint mocha before I got on here. So I do feel my energy guys. And plus we are in Scorpio season and I'm like, I'm like fireball. I've been on like some sugar kick or something like that. This morning I went and I got these caramelized brownie bites, whatever. And there was no brownie in it. It was all chocolate chip and caramel. I don't know where the brownie is. There was no brownie there. It was just all sugar. All right. Let's see. New person, new potential. Passion. I'll call it passion. I won't call it sugar. I'll call it passion. New person potential. New person potential. There's that fool card. Somebody about to take a leap of faith with you, Aries. Ace of Wands. Somebody wants you. Mind, possessive, Virgo. The real deal coming in. All right. Hi, Priestess. You saw me just shuffle these cards. This person, you have a secret admirer. All right. The judgment. All right. They are about to make a choice. This is the day you have, you have somebody around you that secretly wants to be with you, finds you very attractive. All right. Um, it could be a Scorpio, the four swords, but it was in reverse, but somebody coming out of being silent, somebody trying to hold back, trying to figure out what they want. This could be somebody who has closed a door in their past and they've been healing um, from a relationship. And so maybe they are, they just see you and they're all eyes on you, Virgo. I got six of wands here too. And I do got the five of cups in reverse. So it's somebody coming out of healing, eight of cups, evolving. And it could be a Scorpio energy. And I got a Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And I've got the star card here, Aquarius energy. So stars aligned for you and a potential, somebody who wants to get your attention. Uh, again, the six of wands can be somebody who's very, very popular or in their community, somebody who is very successful. Somebody who could meet you on the same page, though. Ace of Wands is showing, like, you know, there's a lot of excitement coming in. Um, you may have already spoke to this person or you're already talking to this person, but you may not realize that they secretly keep, keep their eyes on you. Um, the judgment card is about this person finally making a decision um, to come out and play. Anything else about this person? I got Pisces, Virgo, Scorpio energy, and I got fire energy for you too. Queen of Cups can be a Cancer, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, anything else about this new potential? 
All right, yeah, the three and the four of swords here. This is somebody who has been healing from heartbreak. They may be a little hesitant. They're trying to get to know you. Um, you know, hey, I, I see my age groups that watch this channel. You know, when I say things like somebody go, has gone through a lot of heartbreak, I mean, come on, who hasn't at this point in their life? All right, but this is somebody, a door closes, another door opens, and you're their one. There's that ten of swords here, too. So this is somebody that might be even still going through a divorce. But I got the Ten of Cups. They still want a relationship. They're looking for a relationship. They're relationship material. All right. So this is the real deal. And I get these messages based off the energy that I pulled earlier with the real deal and the possessiveness and the anticipation. So the anticipation here could be somebody who's a little nervous about um, coming towards you again after they just went through something real serious in their life. All right. So. Um, if it's been a while or a minute or they've been slow to react to you, it could be because of that, you know. Let's see. I just saw a deep conversation coming your way as well, too. So let's look at Aries through Pisces, potential for each zodiac sign. Ooh. Plenty of fish in the sea. <laughs> All right, we'll let that one fly. All right, so somebody somebody needs to go in your life, Virgo. Whatever sign that is, I have no idea, but there's plenty of fish in the sea, and you know that. So it might be time to move on and let this new person come towards you. Um, but you do what you want. you got long-term potential on the horizon. It's all around you. Look at Aries up in smoke. So Aries is definitely, there's plenty of fish in the sea. For some of you, Aries might go up in smoke this week. It might just disappear. They might just disappear. Taurus, you might find that you guys revived the love between the two of you this week. Um, there's still something there. And um, that's like a reconciliation. Or you meet somebody and like, oh my God, there, there really is still love out there. Gemini, a light bulb going off. You have some ideas or communication that you might be sharing with one another each this week. So there could be a realization of feelings, a realization of, of a situation or anything like that. But we do see communication with them. Cancer is definitely uh, reminiscent about you with music or they just feel bad or sad or upset about something. Um, you may or may not hear from cancer this week, uh, but they definitely feel you. Um, that's a cancer trait. They definitely feel you. And if you need to know that, they are thinking about you and they have songs for you. Leo, a lot of messages with Leo this week. Uh, tweet, tweet, you guys are in love or finding yourself in love. Virgo, I the beholder, right? Who cares what people think? You and Virgo might just be the perfect match. Libra, um, and, and Virgo might come out of nowhere too for you. Um, and this is also for you, Virgo. Beauty's in the eye of the beholder. So if there's somebody new coming towards you, it might be who you least expect. Libra, you and Libra might fix things this week, mend things. Scorpio, it could be a yes or a no. An ultimatum might be made this week with Scorpio. Sagittarius, we have Sagittarius wants to talk to you, communicate with you. It's like a two of wands. You may get together with them, but they've got to make contact, make a decision. Capricorn, there could be a deep conversation with Capricorn this week, really connecting deeply. Um, and we have Aquarius could be your perfect match, Virgo. All right, this week you might be getting together, making things real. Uh, Pisces is damaged. Leave Pisces alone. They're, they're not even opening up to you. They And they're going to be this way this week too. They might be a little bit cold or distant to you. All right. I love you guys. I will see you soon. Come check me out on the membership if you want to hang out and get to know me. Take care.